Well, with Halloween quickly approaching, we are here at the Ronald McDonald House, and the guys, the Wranglers, the Flames, are here to carve some pumpkins with the kids. We've got some interesting pumpkins for you to see. Uh, I got my idea from my wife over here about. I couldn't steal it. <laughs> we uh, we're making a net. Sorry, last time you carved a pumpkin, how long did it take you? Probably eight hours. It was beautiful pumpkin though, but that was my, I thought that was my last time, I guess not. <laughs> what did you carve that took eight hours? I don't know, I cleaned all this and everything. I wasn't, it was my first time, I wasn't too professional at it. Now what's your tactic here? Because I noticed you've carved a very big hole at the top, is that? Well, because you're gonna put it back, right? So it still looks decent. Then you do eyes, then you do mouth, nose, and everything, so it's going to take some time, I guess. <laughs> All right, perfect. We may have the winning pumpkin over here. What do you, what do you guys think of this? Um, you got a werewolf? Let's see. Can you show the camera your werewolf? That's a really good pumpkin. I am doing a spooky pumpkin, and my name is James. Can you show her? What's your favorite hockey team? Well, I think I have to say the Flames and the Wranglers are my favorite hockey team. So, what's what's your favorite hockey team? Calgary Flames. It's exciting. Um, our families look forward to activities like this, days like today. It's a step away from their day in and day out. Um, lives at the hospital and provides them an opportunity not only to meet the players but to be with other families also on a medical journey. The, I mean the Flames have supported us not only financially um, but through volunteer opportunities and then days like today um, which is just so great to get for the kids to get to meet these players that they see on the ice that are larger than life to them and they get to sit down and carve a pumpkin with them right and just have a conversation with them it's um, something that they're going to remember for a really really long time. It's a bunny pumpkin. A bunny pumpkin. And we uh, went along with the Wranglers logo, well yours truly. We'll see how it turns out with some uh, candles in there. To finish off the design, Remy over here has helped us with some extra decorations. She'll take credit for that. And to finish off, we added a little stick and a puck. Matt's pumpkin is not quite as nice. Um, so I never I, see the pumpkin with the eyes bigger than a mouth. The new design, it's the 2023 pumpkin. Just simple, I feel like that's a basic Halloween pumpkin, the eyelashes, beautiful eyelashes. Who added the eyelashes? I did, I did, I did. They're I think gorgeous. That's, I think that's a good. Did you have some help from the table here? Yeah, the girls been helping me a lot. All right, well good job ladies. Awesome pumpkin, everything looks good. He advised me to put some eyelashes on it, so <laughs> I did that, but first time in a few years, I'm, I'm happy with it. And he wanted to know why the eyes were bigger than the mouth. Uh, I don't have an explanation, <laughs> yeah. I'd give, it, I'd give it like a five out of 10. I didn't do a good job on the inside. Um, a lot of seeds in there. A lot of seeds in there. Mouth's too small, he's right, so yeah, five out of 10. All right, we'll take it. This eyebrow didn't do so well, but then we got the uh, the Wranglers W on the back, so 